All right, guys. Welcome to the theory class one for statistics. Again, I'll recommend that if you know the basic meaning of mean and median, move ahead to the second theory class. If you know the basic meaning of mod, standard deviation, and range, directly jump to the third class of practice questions. But if you even do not know the basics or you want to brush up, this class is specifically for you. So today we are going to talk about what is mean. and what is median mean simply it means average average simple formula sum of numbers in a set upon total number of numbers in the set we'll take one basic set for example the sum of numbers upon total number of numbers let us say we have a set set is denoted by a capital alphabet most of the times gmat prefers to use s then a bracket parenthesis then you have let us say 1 2 3 4 5 5 and closed now these are called as the elements of the set so how many elements does this set as has it simply has five elements now i'm looking for the sum of the numbers or elements so the mean of this set becomes sum of the elements 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 upon the number of elements how many elements do i have 1 2 3 4 5 5 so divide by 5 this simply becomes 15 by 5 and that gives you the answer as 3 so for this set s the mean is nothing but 3 that simple is the mean so this is the first thing you should know the basic what is the meaning of mean it is simply average and has a simple formula sum of numbers upon total number of numbers from lecture 3 we'll start seeing some good questions they will involve percentage with the mean how we'll see in the later lectures first the basic meaning and definition of all the terms now you know the mean let's move to the next one that is the median i'll recommend you to pause the videos and make your own notes that will be very helpful and help you grow in the learnings now if i talk about the median again let us take a set s let us say it is 1 2 3 4 n5 i'm taking another set why you will know very soon so now i have 1 2 3 4 5 and let us say 6 now median means the central number of the set so i'm looking for the central number of the set in magnitude now guys if you're looking for the central number the first thing you will do is arrange the set in ascending or descending order right now they are already arranged for you but in case the same set was given to you like this let us say 1 3 2 5 4 to find the median the first step was to convert this in this format the ascending order or the descending order whatever suits favorable for you so i have converted it into ascending format 1 2 3 4 5 now the point is to look for the median so i'm removing this particular line you simply arrange them in ascending order now how to find out the central number if your number of numbers or number of elements are odd then there will be only one central term so if the number of elements are odd there will be only one central element how let us see one from here one from here two from here and two from here so now this is the central element and this is the median now here you had only five elements so you could strike off very easily but in case if i give you 123 elements which element is going to the central one there is a very easy way to find out so the median 
or the central element is the n plus 1 upon 2th element where n is the total number of elements. So in our case, the total number of elements was 5. So what was the central element? I would have directly calculated. Put n equals to 5. You will get 5 plus 1, 6 upon 2. That is the third term. So your third term is the median. First term, second term, third term. This is the median. Be careful. This third does not mean median is 3. Third means the third term, whatever the number is, it might could have been 7, 9. That will be the median. For example, if I change the set, I am arranging it in ascending order. So let us say 2, 5, 9, 11, and 15. Again, number of terms is 5. So 5 plus 1 upon 2, 6 upon 2, third term. First, second, and third term. That's a 9. So now the median will change from 3 to 9. I hope I'm quite clear with this. So whenever the number of elements is odd, the idea is very simple. You are going to utilize this formula to find the central term. Now, what happens when the number of elements become even, like in the right-hand side case? So here, number of elements are even. Now, you do not have one central element. You have two central elements. Does that mean we have two medians? No. We only have one median. How to find that out? Let's start. So, if I cut down this and this, this and this, now I have two central elements. So, the median is simple, the average of the two central elements. So, in this case, your median will be 3 plus 4 upon 2. That is 7 upon 2 or 3.5. I hope the idea is clear. So, the median is either the central element in the case of number of elements is odd or the average of the two central elements if your number of elements are even. Now, there is a shortcut formula for the direct central term over here when you have odd terms. There is also the direct formula for the two central terms when you have number of elements as even. How to find that out? Let's have a look. So, two central elements are central element 1 is simply the n by 2th term. The central element 2 is n by 2 plus 1th term, where of course n is again the number of elements. For example, in this case, you have 6 elements. So the central term is 6 by 2, that is third term. And here you have 6 by 2 plus 1, so 3. And 3 plus 1, that is the fourth term. So here I have 1, 2, 3, and 4. So these two are the central terms. Right now, you could have seen it manually without applying any kind of formula. But in case, if I say you have 127th term, so what two terms you are looking for or what one term you are looking for, we have to identify. So make the notes and then we'll move on. So you can pause the video and write it down. I'm moving ahead. Now, just a simple example. If you have 127 terms, what is the median or which term is the median? Look for the n. This is odd. So the central term is simply n plus 1 upon 2th term. So 127 plus 1 upon 2, that's 64. So 64th term whatever it is, maybe 4, 100, 133, that is the median. Make sure you do not mark the answer as 64. This will definitely be given in the answer choices. 64th term is the median, not 64. Be very careful. Whatever be the 64th term then. 
let us say you have 96 terms in the set. Now, this is even. So, what is the median? The idea is simple. The first central term is n by 2th term. The another central term is n by 2 plus 1th term. You have to take the average of both the terms. So, simply add them up and divide by 2. You will get the median. So, n by 2 will be 96 by 2, that's 48th term, plus the next term, of course, that is 49th term upon 2. Again, you don't have to add 48 and 49. That's a big mistake you're making. Do not add 48 and 49. Add 48th term and 49th term. Okay, be very careful over here. Idea is very simple. Simple do formulas. And of course, mean, you know, that is the average of the numbers. Let's take two or three basic examples and end this video. Let us say we have the numbers as 12, 8, 36, 10, and 44. Question asks us to find the mean. Now, guys, smartly add the numbers. You know you have to add all the numbers. Look for the numbers. See, 12 and 8, clearly 20. 36 and 44, you see 6 and 4 will make 10. 36 and 44, that's 80 plus 10 divided by 5. Now, there are multiple ways. Either partially divide and simply add or you add and divide. I prefer partially divide because 5 is a good number. Divides all the numbers. So, 20 by 5 will become 4, 80 by 5 will become 16 and 10 by 5 will become 2. Now, the numbers are small to add. 22 is the mean. What about the median? Yes, don't forget to arrange them in ascending or descending order. The set is 8, 10, 12, 36, and 44. I can clearly see the median is 12, but since we are learning right now, I'll go slow and apply the formula. N is odd. Then, which term I'm looking for? I'm looking for n plus 1 upon 2th term. N is 5, 6 upon 2, that is third. So I'm looking for the third term. What is my third term? Clearly 12. I hope you got the concept. Very easy. You can handle it, right? Slowly we'll move to the tough questions as well. Let us say we are given that we have a set which has 100 terms. Now, the question asks us, which of the two terms you need to know to answer the question? Make, you can make a very good data sufficiency question out here. All right. So 100 terms, now n is clearly even. So if n is even, I'm looking for the two central terms. One is 100 by 2, n by 2, simple. Remember, the n by 2, that is the 50th term. Now, you don't have to really apply the formula for the second central terms. It will be definitely the next one from this. So that will be 51st term. So, it's very easy to find out n by 2. I do that because the other one, of course, guys, n by 2 plus 1. n by 2 is 50. You have recently calculated 50 plus 1, 51st term. So, I can answer this data sufficiency question if you give me the 50th term and 51st term. If you do not give me the 50th term, or if you do not give me the 51st term, it is impossible for me to find out the answer just using one of the terms. So it can be used in data sufficiency. Either you give me the 50th term and 51 term both, then only I can answer the question, or you give me the sum of 50th term plus 51st term, then also I can answer the question. Because I need to just add them up and divide by two. If you give me the direct addition, very easy for me. Later on, we'll explore more of such questions when we go to data sufficiency. But right now, that's it from the theory of mean and median. Remember the formulas, keep making notes and study in a stretch. Next class will be based on mode, range and standard deviation, their basic meaning. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.